Your first one was a 0.256, your second one was a 0.260. That's like three, almost four times the legal limit. Being suspected of drinking and driving so. comes with some pretty rough consequences. I'm riding with Pacifica Police Department as Daly City pulls over a driver who is suspected of driving under the influence. This is all part of STEP. STEP stands for Saturation Traffic Enforcement Program. Every month, officers from all around the county come together and converge on one city to enforce traffic rules. They look for anything and everything. But listen what happens with this one. You can kind of just tell me her eyes are glassy, mm -hmm. abrupt. So my bad, I don't know where I started. Uh, it was on the main road. Uh -huh. But she, what caught my attention was she, she got, she, she stopped at a stop sign or she was rolling through a stop sign, mm -hmm. made an abrupt turn onto the main road, touched the double yellow lines, mm -hmm. and then just sped up towards the car, kept braking uh, behind that car and just kind of like, not straddling, like kind of straddling. Yeah. But would often, I followed through these residential roads, braked um, prior to the stop sign. Mm -hmm. And then that's where we ended up, um, her eyes. I kind of smell a little bit of odor. Okay. Yeah. Did she admit to anything? Huh? Did she admit to anything? I asked her if she drank, she, she didn't admit to okay. it. When an officer suspects you've been driving <laughs> impaired, they must administer a certain series of tests to confirm that before allowing you to go back on the road. Do you want to take a step out? I just want to check on yeah. you. Sure. Okay. When you've been suspected of driving under the influence, you're given something called a field sobriety test. It's in 4,000. Continue from where you left off. I can't, I can't, I can't do this right now. Those tests are to prove your ability to drive safely. And if you fail those tests. So big inhale, excellent to the two. Go, 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 Good job. We're going to do that twice and make sure the tests are the same, okay? You're asked to breathe into a breathalyzer. So big inhale. Excellent, the tube. Go, 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 Good job. And if you feel the breathalyzer? So, Melody, at this point, I suspect that you are under the influence of alcohol. So you're being arrested for DUI, okay? Well, there are more than one option that the officer can take. Listen, listen. There's two places you can go right now. You can go to First Chance, which is basically a sober, sobering facility where you sleep off the alcohol and you get released with a citation. Or you can get booked at jail. The only reason you get to go to First Chance is for people who are cooperative and nice. If you, if you keep making statements like this to her, she's going to have to take you to jail, okay? Now, a lawyer will tell you that you have the right to refuse a field sobriety test. And you do. But that also comes with consequences. If you to submit to or fail to com complete a chemical test, your driving privilege will be administratively suspended for one year or administratively revoked for two or three years by the Department of Motor Vehicles. In Pacifica, Stanley Roberts for Mr. Badley TV.